Hi guys, I'm back with another eye tutorial. I originally recorded this and wanted to make it like a face and eye, but I think I apparently I talked too much because it was like at 20 minutes and I still had some more frames to go. So I knew it was going to be like a 30 minute video and there's just no way anybody's going to sit there and watch me apply makeup for 30 minutes. So um, anyway, I just did my eyes in this one and here, well in my cheeks, in my lips, but that's it. So, and I'm using this Lorac Pro palette, and I'm really loving this palette. I think these shadows are gorgeous. They're velvety feeling. They're super, super pigmented. I mean, just amazing colors. You can do daytime eye looks over here with a smoky eye over here. They're just so pretty, so many colors to choose from, and I really wanted to do an eye tutorial that you guys could wear like at night, during the day, or so if you want to see how I got this look then just keep on watching. First thing I'm going to do <clears throat> is prime my eyes with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Oops. There we go. And this is just, you know, the usual. I think I've shown you guys this before, but it's just a skin toned color. This is just a nice base. And then I'm going to take my Sonia Kashuk uh, medium eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to dip it in cream, which is this color right here. And this is just going to be a base and this is a matte color. All the top colors in this palette are matte. Then I'm going to take this Sephora medium shadow brush and I'm going to take the color Champagne, which is this one, and I'm just going to put that on my lid. And this is kind of glittery. It's more, glitter more glittery than I thought it was because it's like falling off on my face and stuff, which... It's nice for nighttime, I guess. I mean, during the day, I don't like too much glitter. But... Okay. And then I'm going to take this uh, Sephora crease brush in the color called Mauve. And this is one of my favorite colors in this palette. This is so pretty. And I'm just going to put that in my crease. Then I'm going to take my Real Techniques large crease brush and dip that in espresso, or no, sable. And I'm just going to place that right on the outer corner of my eye and just halfway in my crease. Just kind of in a V and then like that. And then I'm going to take this crease brush and just blend that out. Then I'm going to take this Sephora um, shadow brush again and dip it back in champagne and just place that right here just to brighten that back up on my lid and I'm just gonna pat that and then I'm gonna take this Sephora smudge brush I'll show you and I'm gonna dip that in sable and I'm just gonna put that on my lower lash line just going to take a sponge if I can get it open oh <laughs> there we go and I'm just gonna 
take off all that excess glitter. Or then I'm gonna or take my Wet n Wild Mega Liner and just give myself a little bit of a wing, some winged liner. Then I'm going to take my Milani Liquify Eyeliner and just put that on my waterline. Then I'm going to take my Tweezerman Eyelash Curler and just curl my lashes. Which I'm definitely buying a new eyelash curler because this one just like sucks. It does not curl my lashes. My lashes are pretty long and you can't really tell because this doesn't curl them at all. They're just like flat. So then I'm going to take my CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara, which I love. This is so good at separating and lengthening, lengthening your lashes. Then I'm going to take the Jordana Best Lash Extreme, which was recommended to me by Stephanie here on YouTube. Her username is SMLXO. Um, she is beautiful. You guys should definitely go check her out and subscribe to her if you haven't already. I'm sure you guys all are because she's like awesome. But anyway, so I'm just going to put that on. And this is really good at volumizing. So this goes really well with the Lash Perfection, which lengthens. So this lengthens, like, I cannot talk tonight. This lengthens and this volumizes. So they're a good combo. I don't know if you guys can tell. And then I'm going to take my Real Techniques all-purpose brush and my blush. It's Max Margin. And this is a frost. And I really like this because it's almost the same color as Melba except with a frost. Except a frost. So you don't have to put a highlight on. Um, this pretty much has a highlight built in. Um, I wouldn't get carried away with this though because too much and it's just like way too much shimmer so I would definitely use a light so I brought margin out to compare them. not margin Melba to compare to margin and I wanted to show you guys how similar they are in color except this has the like orangey frost to it but I mean without the frost they'd be like almost the same color so yeah I'm I really really have been loving this really really a lot <laughs> so just take that Just smile to find the apples of your cheeks. Then I'm just going to line my lips with this Too Faced Perfect Nude Lip Liner. And I love this lip liner. It's so creamy. And you guys, I really hate lip liners. I'm not even kidding. But this one, I love. Like, it applies so smooth, you kind of just feel like you're applying a lipstick. And then I'm going to take my NARS Lip Lacquer. And this is in Chelsea Girls. And it just, it's a nude lip 
lacquer. It's pretty sticky, so if you don't like sticky lip glosses, I would not wear this, but it is such a pretty color. I'm not a fan of sticky lip glosses myself, but I hate when like when the wind's blowing and my hair sticks to my mouth. That is the worst. Or like if I'm in the car and we're driving, I can't have the windows down because my hair is just like sticking to my lips. So <laughs> I don't really like sticky lip glosses, but this is so worth it because look how pretty the color is. It's a really pretty nude, and it's one of Kim Kardashian's favorites, so there's another reason to buy it. Not to mention, I don't, just the color's so worth it, I don't even care that it's like so freaking sticky. I mean, it's a lip lacquer, so what do you expect? So this but. is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to use more from the Lorac. Pro palette if you want to see more tutorials um, if you want to see like homecoming tutorials even though I totally would wear this to homecoming I think it's really pretty it's really pretty for nighttime especially um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon bye